Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into a tier list of locations in Last Day on Earth Survival. Whether you're new or a seasoned player, knowing which spots are worth your time can make a huge difference in your survival journey. Let's jump right in. Blackport PD is a great spot for finding weapon blueprints. It's relatively easy to clear, and you can use the wall trick to make it even simpler. The waves can be challenging, but the rewards, especially weapon mods, are worth it. Check out my videos in the description for tips on completing the waves efficiently. Bunker Alpha is the king of all locations in LDOE. It's your go-to for valuable loot, including weapons, armor, and rare items like engine parts and C4. You can clear this zone with minimal effort using the wall trick, making it essential for your progression. Completing the bunker in both normal and hard modes offers substantial rewards, so it's a must-visit for any serious player. I've made plenty of videos on Bunker Alpha. Watch them to learn how to clear it easily. Bunker Bravo is a high-risk, high-reward location. It's one of the toughest spots in the game, with radiation and strong zombies. But the rewards, like high-tech components and ATV parts, can be game-changers. I strongly advise clearing Bunker Bravo during seasonal events, as they offer many advantages that make this area easier. Check out my videos on how to complete these events. Crooked Creek Farm is excellent for gathering rare items like chopper parts. Opening the barn will grant you at least one chopper wheel, fork, or gas tank. The farm also features the Ravager, a boss that's easy to take down and drops big bones for crafting unique weapon mods. Regularly clearing the farm is key to progressing in the game. Watch my videos on how to kill the Ravager and clear the farm. Dead Island is an unknown location for me. I've never visited it. The factory is decent for gathering crafting materials, though it doesn't offer high-value loot like other locations. It has a chance to give you a grenade in one of the chests, so I recommend clearing it from time to time. Frosty Backwoods is my go-to location for farming rare resources like C4, grenades, and high-tier guns. You can loot the chests in this zone without getting spotted. You just need to be sneaky, clean, and avoid zombies as much as possible. Plus, no toxic spitters attack you here. The gas station is mainly useful for bike upgrades and some decent trades. It's more of a convenience spot than a necessity. While it's good for quick resources, it doesn't offer much in terms of essential progression. The infected forest is a dangerous location with minimal rewards. The witch is tough to beat, and unless you're specifically looking to complete a task, it's best to avoid this area. The risk far outweighs the reward. Before going in, watch my videos to learn more about the infected forest. Limestone cliffs, limestone ridge, limestone spires are farming zones. Nothing much to say. The motel is an easy, quick run with guaranteed loot, including a grenade and other essentials. However, the simplicity of the location and the lack of higher tier rewards keep it from ranking higher. Oak bushes, oak grove, Pine bushes, pine grove, and wooded foothills are all great for gathering essential resources like wood and stone, which are crucial for base upgrades. The port is where you'll find materials necessary for building and upgrading boats and other advanced gear. The port lab can be as dangerous as Bravo, but it still requires a good strategy to maximize the loot without burning through too many resources. The port sewers are much easier in comparison. Check out my videos for tips. Sand quarry is for farming sand. I don't go there much, but it's a must for crafting cement. Swamp area and transport hub. I don't have the ATV yet for the swamp, and I'm still missing a drone for the transport hub, so I can't comment much on these locations. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for our location tier list in Last Day on Earth Survival. I hope this helps you prioritize your runs and maximize your loot. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.